Morning guys and welcome back to the channel and today we've got a little bit of sun creeping around the corner which is amazing. So we've been working on this late 2022, early 2023 Mercedes Sprinter for a specialist conversion company down the road from us. We do a bit of work for them and we do look after the audio side of things. So this Mercedes Sprinter turned up with the stock door speakers and the factory tweeters on the top and it sounds poor. I'm going to keep it polite. It also has the 10 inch M Bucks system, which is the multimedia display with the center speaker. So what we've done is we've made some massive improvements so that this mobility vehicle with the wheelchair access at the back has got speakers at the back, speakers at the front and an active subwoofer. So join me in the front and we'll show you what we've done. So all the Mercedes Sprinters that we work on, if they are a standard panel van and not motorhome, they're gonna come with the standard factory tweeters. These tweeters are located under the panels, situated on top of the dash, and have been replaced with this above now. Um, they make a massive difference because rather than the tweeter sitting down, hitting the windscreen, now the tweeters up on the dashboard are actually directional, so they will appear um, to project the sound to you whilst you're driving uh, and it does make a massive difference. Now also because this is the MBUX 10 inch system it comes with a centre speaker. Now a centre speaker is exactly as it is what it's called, picture above now, and we put an Alpine reduction coil in there which attenuates the volume somewhat because everybody complains that the majority of the volume comes through there and it's really, really weak and it's really, really poor uh, and makes the sound system very tinny. Now, in the doors, the Mercedes, the way that they've gone down the road on this one is when you take the door card off, the mid base speaker is fitted to the actual door card, which is really unusual. So what we do is uh, we take the door card off we remove the horrible factory speaker that weighs the same as something very light and replace it with a much nicer Alpine component speaker with a nice big heavy magnet on and it is much, much nicer. In this vehicle, we've done stage one and stage two sound deadening. And the reason for this is because we can't normally, we can't apply our sound deadening to the actual door lining as we normally would. So the pictures above are going to be in three stages. The first one is the actual physical door that Richard would apply a little bit of sound deadening to just to tighten up those metal panels. The secondary one is, or the second one, is the back of the plastic door card that's also been lined in two mil sound deadening. And then after that, the sound absorber or the eggshell sound absorber has been applied to that door card. And the reason for this is because it's going to reduce all as many rattles and vibrations as it can do so that when the system's turned up, the new speakers can perform and breathe. And that's the most important thing. So now we're going to jump in the back and show you the subwoofer that we've done. Every single Mercedes that comes through our doors, we would much prefer to fit the dedicated Alpine Mercedes Sprinter S907 subwoofer, which is um, an eight inch carpeted sub with a DSP amplifier. But there's no room under this seat and what's going under this seat here is a charging system. So there's gonna be no room. So we've had to think outside the box. So what we've gone for is our trusty PWE S8. 8 inch active boxed subwoofer. This is it's a solid bit of kit. Even if it gets kicked or knocked, it doesn't really matter. What we have done is we have sound deadened inside the back of the seat base. We've sound deadened behind the sub to reduce um, as much rattle as possible. We've also then used little donut grommets to hold the subwoofer on. The reason why we've done this is because this is a metal box on a metal base. And when you've got subwoofer and low frequencies, it's gonna vibrate. So we've put those there as a dampening effect. 
So with the two levels of sound deadening, the dampening, and the subwoofer fitted here, we've then hole sawed a beautiful hole down the side here to allow for you to unplug the sub if you ever needed to. All the connections are then run up to the MBUC system and it's controlled by what we call um, speaker line level. So there's no ignition key turning the sub on and off. It's just detecting an audio uh, voltage that will come down the speaker lines and turn the subwoofer on. Now also you'll see uh, the subwoofer control knob that we fitted up by the MBUX, nice and neat and it's really close to the driver and it just makes operation perfect because as and when you want to turn a song up or your favourite track, you can adjust the bass accordingly. But if you've got woken up with a headache or whatever, you can just turn it back down and you haven't got that subwoofer, um, you know, making too much noise and vibrations in the vehicle. So just to wrap it up, 2022-2023 Mercedes Sprinter, new Alpine component speakers in the door and the dash, stage one, stage two sound deadening, active subwoofer. Also in the back, Alpine Type R uh, coax, no, component speakers, component speakers because they've got their own dedicated tweeter. We've supplied them, conversion company have fitted them, but all round, this, this, this vehicle is gonna be absolutely perfect for the mobility customer that who's going to be situated in the back here as well and it's going to be absolutely perfect so if you've got a vehicle like this or a mercedes sprinter or anything and you want anything that we have showcased in this video today get in touch with us don't forget to like subscribe tell your friends and family thanks for watching